Jack Lew was the chief of staff for President Obama. Then he was the Treasury Secretary under the Obama administration. The Democrats have been complaining that uh, they need a, uh, an ambassador to Israel in the middle of this. They never scheduled a hearing. They never sent the information. They've just got it. And now the hearing is tomorrow, Krisha. Right. And now at a time when we need strength, when we need someone who is pro-Israel, we are basically, again, compromised with someone who is being uh, at the forefront in support of Iran and their business dealings. Why do we have to go down this route. I agree with Marco Rubio in that Jack Lew is not a good choice at this particular moment in time, especially since we also know um, we have Robert Malley, who um, was uh, in, in the government as well during the Obama administration. He's a chief negotiator for the Iran yes, nuclear exactly. Deal. And all of these individuals are clearly not going to be supportive of Israel. Yeah, Todd, we'll see what happens here. But, you know, I don't know what an ambassador to Israel, how that changes the game anyway, how that changes the war and the destruction that we're seeing right now. That is a good point. But nevertheless, you obviously want all your ducks in a yeah. row when okay. your major ally is facing potential destruction. Um, and look, I understand that the swamp is going to promote its own. I understand that's how the system works. But you can't tell me, Maria, there was no one else in the Democratic Party who wouldn't be referred to by senators like Tom Cotton as an Iran sympathizer. I mean, let's face it, we all know a number of high ranking Democrats who either are Jewish or have significant ties to Israel that would be perfect fits for that position, yet they go with Jack Lou. Yeah. What does that tell you? Well, we'll see if the senators and the Foreign Relations uh, Senate Committee uh, blocks this. We don't know. Well, one thing that is uh, becoming clear, the Biden administration wants what it wants. Jack Lew was the U.S. Treasury Secretary who, again, as we're all talking about, helped negotiate or tried to negotiate uh, a deal with Iran to uh, get Bingo. them to give up their nukes in exchange for, oh, getting sanctions lifted. Jack Lew is the guy who negotiated the deal. And now we're going to send Jack Lew to Israel to be the ambassador. Yeah. He's the one who cozied up to Iran. So the Biden administration uh, is is it's not that they're tone deaf. They're yeah. quite clear. They want what they want. And they're going to try to ram it down Israel's L throat. Look at this. To your point, the Senate Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Committee found that during his tenure as Treasury Secretary, yes. Jack Lew authorized a conversion of Iranian assets worth billions of dollars using the U.S. financial system. Uh, the report found that the administration tried to convert $5.7 billion from U.S. banks to Iranian assets. It noted that the Treasury's Office of Foreign Assets Controlled encouraged two correspondent banks to convert that money. Remember the story under Obama when there were actually pellets of cash yes. in, in, in a paper bag going to Iran? They wanted yes. cash. They wanted dollars. Cash. They, oh, and Jack Lew made sure they got it. Jack Lew should be the ambassador to Iran yes. if the U.S. ever uh, normalizes relations. Final word. Uh, my final word is we need to defund Iran. Um, we need to basically put the sanctions that were eased back out there and control them through the banking system. Yep. Why haven't we done this? Krisha, it's been great having you this morning. Thank you Thanks for so much. Krisha Lenzo joining us this morning. Coming up